Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome to Log Furniture HowTo.com. My name is Mitchell Dillman. I'm located here in Penrose, Colorado at Colorado Springs Sawmill.com. Guys, check out this table I've been working on. That's a one of a kind, handmade, live edge table straight from Black Forest Fire, Colorado. You know, I work with metal too. Check this out. We've got a big sign going on in here. We gotta get this thing finished up. It's going to powder coat soon. And then to a city park near you soon in Colorado Springs, Colorado. It's gonna finish out with this cool orange plexiglass in these little windows we've created here. So guys, it's been over a year, right at a year, since we moved into our new shop. And I thought it'd be a great time. Finish shutting up some signs and show you guys around a little bit. So I think this will be a good spot for our sign, guys. And then I want to take a minute and show you around the yard, talk about some projects we've got coming up. Before we do that, though, I got to get this thing finished up and ready for powder coat. So this is where it all starts, guys. This is where we bring in the logs. And sort through them. before we head over to the mill. And we're working mostly with locally harvested softwoods like pine. These logs right here have recently come in from the 2013 Black Forest Fire. Doug fir. We got some spruce, but that doesn't mean we won't cut your hardwoods. We've got some black walnut over there and some elm. Some other local hardwoods. Next, we head to the mill. So this is our sawmill, guys. It's our workhorse. It's a Timber King band mill. It has a 21 foot length capacity and we can cut logs up to about three foot round. From here, everything we cut gets processed through our wood drying kiln. So this is an evaporative wood drying system. It's basically a great big dehumidifier. We're storing some material in here right now, 18 foot stock. So guys, this is basically a controlled environment. We have the ability to move heated air through the lumber stack while the compressor kicks in and starts to remove the moisture from the air. It's all controlled electronically with this unit right here. We have the ability to control the compressor, the heater core, humidification, and a vent system. So one of the disadvantages of setting it up in a Connex like this is that we've got to inload it. We've got to run everything in by hand long ways. 
So one of those projects I was telling you about starts right here. We're gonna make a rail system. So we have the ability to roll carts out and load them right off the mill. Our eight by eight ties are ready and waiting. Speaking of projects, guys, we need a roof. We need a lot of roof. We'll be starting right here with this garage. And like most big construction jobs, we're gonna be doing this in phases, guys. Once we're done with that, we'll get over here and put in a 16 by 40. And then the whole roof system will finish up with the main span in the middle. Eventually, we'll have a system right here. So there you go, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this quick update. Now, if you wanna learn more, and follow along on these projects I've shown you around here, be sure to check out our website, coloradospringsawmill.com. And you can learn more about furniture at logfurniturehowto.com. Click like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Have fun, guys. We'll see ya. Man, look at this one. How's it going, guys? Welcome to logfurniturehowto.com and my shop here in Penrose, Colorado. Step right into the sun. Hey, welcome back. Welcome to logfurniturehowto.com. <laughs> it's been a while since we had this sign out. All right, one more. And we specialize in processing our locally harvested wildfire wood. And from here, we head to the mill. So once we cut the wood, we put it in the kiln. So one of those projects I was telling you about, so one of those projects I was telling you about starts Not sure if that's your shot.